Here we are, sir. She cut her throat with a shot from this broken glass. There's not a chance of finding all the cars before it's stolen. Post-mortem showed she'd been drinking pretty heavily. The door here was locked from the inside. It has to be suicide. Why didn't you let us know you were coming? Marco, your stepfather wouldn't have gone away. But I sent a telegram. <laughs> you must have gotten the wrong address. Well, I waited two hours out at the airport, and then I took a taxi. Your name's Nancy, isn't it? Yes, Nancy Thompson. Of course, you're the daughter of the second husband. Maybe you'll think that I'm impolite, but... Well, I mean, I don't know you. <laughs> you're right. I am asking you a lot of questions, and I haven't even told you who I am. Well, Nancy, let's say I was your mother's best friend, and ever since she gave me the cottage for my photographic studio, I've lived at the villa. I see. Tell me how it happened that my mother... It was horrible. A frightening thing. I prefer not to talk about it now. This was Dorothy's room.
Did you love your poor mother dearly? I only saw her eight or ten times in all. I spent my whole life in boarding school. I can hardly remember her. Well, I can tell you one thing. She was very beautiful. That's strange. Magda? Magda? Madam, where are Dorothy's photographs? Why, I don't really know. They've completely disappeared. M maybe the police, when they came about the tragedy. All right, all right, it doesn't matter. There must have been one of you, too. Taken several years ago. You like them? Dorothy was always very well dressed. She wore that very often. One of Marco's gifts. Why don't you try it on? Go ahead, undress. Well, really, I... Come along. Now, don't tell me you're embarrassed to undress in front of me, are you? I tell you, she's not a child. Well, we knew that. She's a teenager. Dorothy spoke of her daughter as if she were a newborn baby. Now, don't exaggerate. She's not that young. I did know the date of her birth. But I just don't recall it at the moment. How old do you think she is? Thirteen? Fourteen? At least sixteen. Or seventeen. Do you know what that means? You're the administrator of her estate only until she comes of age. Listen, Jenna. Just as soon as I can get back, we'll face the whole problem. Okay? Only until she comes of age. And that's not very long. Remember that. you a question? Why did my mother kill herself? I don't know. She was really tormented, I think. When I tried to talk to her about it, she became evasive. She found an excuse, pretend not to have heard me. How could a person choose such a horrible death? Her nerves were shot. 
She drank a lot and stuffed herself with pills. The post-mortem showed that. When the tragedy happened, I hadn't seen her for several days. Hold it a moment. You have an interesting face. <laughs> you mean that? Noun profile. Turn around. Slowly. You're innately photogenic. Still pretty crude. You'd have to be trained, molded. It'd take time, but... Oh, Jana, please do it. I'd love to learn. Thank you. 
Obviously, the type of girl who has absolutely nothing to hide, right, Nancy? I never would have imagined my stepdaughter running around blatantly posing in the nude. Well, how did it go? I was able to remedy the situation, but when one's in the middle of a failing marriage, there are always problems. Hello? Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Strange you're not a horse buff, Nancy. In England, it's traditional, I thought. I always had other interests. The degrees you'd been studying for, did you get them? Not one. I needed another year to study, but after my mother's death, I decided to give it up. She's going to stay here with us. That's a great idea. Your father was American, right? Yes, but I was born in Paris. My mother thought it was very chic. Then all those boarding schools, one after the other. Don't think about that anymore. We're your family now. I can't, thanks. I have to go. You know what, Jana? Marcos promised to take me sailing. Be very careful. The lake is dangerous at this time. <laughs>
It's a tranquilizer. The doctor prescribed it. I'll come back later to see how you are. It wasn't Marco who saved me, was it? He did everything he could. I had this awful dream. Marco didn't try to help me. He was going to let me drown. And he didn't care. He just laughed and laughed and laughed. It was only a nightmare. Try to get some rest. I was the one who found her, but it was too late. Then the police came. What could have driven her to do such a desperate thing? Even though the door was locked on the inside, I've never believed it was suicide. One night I came to your door to, to tell you so, but, but at the last minute I, I didn't have the courage. No, no, it's not possible. I knew her too well. Dorothy was... was a happy woman. She enjoyed life every minute. There was a party here the night it happened. Hello. Real good to see you again. Hi. How are you? Thank you. How did it go? Nothing doing. The bank said they can't do anything. They need Dorothy's signature, too. Where the hell is she? Your wife has other problems. She's in her room. Didn't they ever teach you to knock? Does it matter? What do you want? You know perfectly well. The real estate problem. That business was a mess from the start. And I warned you, didn't I? Anyhow, it's got nothing to do with me. It's a bad situation, Dorothy. I'm serious. You must help me. I must? Why? For years, I've supported you, your rotten business affairs, and your wretched little tots. Now I'm sick of it. You won't get another penny out of me. We made a pact. Each one for himself, and each one his freedom. But despite that pact, you are my wife. And at a damnable moment like this, I think you should... Oh, no. I am finished. I am finished. I'm through playing the fool, keeping a handsome, penniless Roman noble with my money. You can take back your damn nobility, your ancestors, your cardinals, and your pope. Your whole rotten, lousy family tree. I want a divorce. Do you hear, Marco? I want a divorce! She was really in love with that boy. The difference in their ages wasn't important. Dorothy... 
was the kind who was above certain hypocritical conventions. Were you truly fond of my mother? I worked for her so many years, and she was always good to me. Afraid? Of course not. Beating's exciting. I never dreamed I'd find a father so young and sporty. Where are you off to? I decided to turn the city a bit. Why not let me take you? No, I'm better alone. I don't want to be distracted. Giorgio, have you seen Miss Nancy? I think she's out on the terrace. Great artist, meditation. <laughs> Always in the dark, like a bat. <laughs> the film you went to see must have been quite intoxicating. Well, we added something to the program and dropped into the carousel. <sighs> and it went around so fast, you got dizzy. Same for me, too. Ah. This is the left. <laughs> You didn't catch my real personality. I can't even recognize myself. I really can't. You judge Marco. Now that you know me better, could I have ever been this insipid, insignificant, awkward kid? I can mm -hmm. do it. God, that's enough. You got me all wrong. Come on, start shooting. Come on. Come on. Now I'll show you the real Nancy. Margo, give me a little background music, please. Thank you. 
You've done so much for me. I was lost. I was a babe in the woods. And you helped me to find my personality. Just can't understand you. I love you. You're like a mother to me. A mother I never had. Nancy. Nancy. Nancy, what's the matter? Nancy. Nancy. I can't breathe. I don't know why, but every time I take those, those special drops. What drops? The one Jana makes me take every night. Since that day, I nearly drowned. Now calm down, dear. Try to get some rest. All right? Just relax. It's nothing. You'll see. I feel better now. It's passed off. No, you stay here. Don't try and walk about yet. I'll go and sleep somewhere else. With John? Just what the hell do you mean? What are you thinking of? Did you love Dorothy? Why, yes, your mother and I, no, I'd be lying. I didn't love her. 
Oh, I think I did at first. But at the end, our marriage had become totally impossible. Just being near each other was impossible. I didn't love her either. She was like a stranger to me. Don't go away. Someone with the wrong number. Are you sorry about last night? Why should I be? I should think John has more of a woman than I am. Don't be silly. Can't you see comparisons are ridiculous? Excuse me. I'm young. I still haven't learned to be a hypocrite. She's a girl who knows how to make herself liked. You have to hate someone to kill them. A wrong move. Might reopen the case on Dorothy's death. Leave it to me. What do you mean? Don't go trying anything on your own, Janet. Maybe there's another solution. Why bring up Dorothy? There's nothing on us. Nothing on me, that's for sure. Still living in Trastevere? Yes. And is your husband still in America? He's coming back in about a month. That bed is so big for just one, I find. That is a problem, of course. Let's see if we can uh, work it out, all right? I like what I'm here. When I let you take the cottage, were you already Marco's mistress, or um, did you become that afterwards? I already was. <laughs> Not that it's important. I give my old clothes to my servants, and my husbands to my friends. Pour me another drink. <laughs> Clean it up. What are your plans for that boy? Who, Paolo? Oh, he's marvelous. I adore him. He makes me feel alive. Of course, it costs me a lot. Oh, I know very well I'm old enough to be his mother, but that suits me. I take the good with the bad. At least, Paolo is young.
Yes, I killed her. But that doesn't mean anything. You're just as responsible as I am. Maybe. Anyway, don't bother about Nancy. I'll take care of her. In what way? I don't know yet. All right. I'll stand by this time and watch. You do the work. One thing is sure. We mustn't rush this thing. Never mind. It was my fault. You, you can go now, and thank you. If you're sure you don't need anything, madam. No, Giorgio. And thank you again. What's wrong? I was thinking what it must feel like to die in the electric chair. Would you mind buying me a new one? What is it? It's called a circuit breaker. It only costs about a dollar. But it's all there is between me and electrocution. Be careful. With all your traps, one of these days, you'll roast yourself like a chicken. The big one starts, I guess, in about an hour. Well, it doesn't say exactly when. I bet on number eight for you. Hmm? I'm going to go in bed, too. You might have told us before. I want to walk a bit. Yeah, that's it. Don't you see? That's it. Don't you see? 
accordiata 107. <ride> Did you put the bed on? Yes. On your own? Of course. But I could swear I saw you with somebody. You're wrong. I was alone the whole time. You're not becoming jealous, are you? I have a perfect right to be. The typical Latin love of passion and jealousy. Although I rather like it. <laughs> Well, I don't see any Chinese prints or butterfly collection. Why did you want to come here? Because I'm interested in everything about you. I want to know you better, and we mustn't keep any secrets from each other. Decent sanitary conveniences are. Do you mind if I take a shower? Mind my using your bathrobe. Who are you calling? Are you expecting a visitor? If it's a jealous woman, I can always hide in the wardrobe. <clears throat> You're a very strange girl. What sort of opinion have you got of me? The worst possible. But I like you anyhow. You've got to leave, John. I don't want to share you with anybody at all. What's the matter? Come and sit down. Marco. Marco? He tried to. How did it happen? We were on our way back from the race. Then all of a sudden, he was horrible. This guy. Nancy.
Miss Nancy, I'm leaving now. Tomorrow's my day off. I've left everything in order. No, she's only fainted. Stay here with her. You can go, Magda. Uh, where were you when the shot was fired? In the kitchen. I was checking over the grocery bill. Look, you're still upset, Nancy. That man's a murderer. I have proof of it. Oh, please, Jonna, please keep me here with you. You're the only one who can save me. I don't want to go back in that house. I'm scared. Yes, yes, all right. But what proof are you talking about? A letter. A letter? From my mother. It's dated the day before she died. They forwarded it from school. She doesn't write like someone thinking of suicide. She writes about the future, of love, of starting a new life. And where is this letter? She says she can't put up with Marco any longer. She wants a divorce. No, I can't believe she committed suicide. Any more than Magda can believe it. Can you? Well, the police made an investigation. And they say it was suicide. It's very difficult to reopen a case. They need proof, not suspicions. Don't leave me. Stay with me. I need you. I need your help. There, there. You're upset now. Just try to rest a bit. Hmm? I want to stay here with you. <laughs>
We've got to find it. That letter means life imprisonment for us. Here it is. You know, she must really have hated me. To write a pile of crap like this. Pretty incriminating. We can't waste any more time. We've got to act now. Now pull the cord and it'll turn. The one in your left hand. Pull it a little harder. Let the other go slack. Now pull it through. Perfect. Miss John, are those things are mine. What are you doing with them here? Oh! 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 You killed her, didn't I? You killed her. Magda! 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 Are you in here?
Magda? Magda! She made the mistake of wanting to know too much. No one will miss our dear Magda. She was alone in the world. Now you're the only one who knows what was written in this letter. Apart from Jana and myself. <laughs> Don't worry. We're not going to mark you in any way, my dear. It'll be a painless death. About ten minutes and you'll have suffocated. <laughs> We calculated beautifully. It'll be made to look like suicide. We won't find even a speck of evidence against us. No, let go of me. No. Go and get everything ready. I'll take care of her.
Let me out. Open the door. Jenna. Jenna. Let me out. doing this? What good will it do to kill me? Let me out. I'm choking. Jenna. What's the point in this? <coughs> we murdered Dorothy, I know. But killing her made sense. Even killing Magda made sense. But why me? Why can't you leave me alive? Open the door, Jenna. Jenna, please. Jenna, please. You did very well to trust me. It all went off to perfection. You were marvelous. I only did what you asked me. The fainting fit was your masterpiece. I should think so. I wasn't expecting an extra corpse. Well, Magda was a threat to him. And Marco did that on his own. I knew nothing about it. Now you won't be afraid anymore. We're rid of him, your mother's murderer, forever. Good. I'm going to pack. In a while, I'll go down to the garage and arrange Marco's body. And lock the door from the inside. Then we can leave. And we'll finally be alone, you and I. Take your filthy paws off me. <laughs> I was sure you killed Dorothy. And I don't like having my dish taken away from me while I'm eating. I couldn't prove it then. But now I can. What does he mean? Nancy. Who's Nancy? Stop calling me that stupid name. My name is Marella. She's my girl and always has been. You filthy old bag. Did you really think a girl could fall in love with you? Oh, by the way. The real Nancy is about to show up, and if you step on it, 
There's still time to meet her at the airport. You have to know how to lose, and you lost. Go and help your partner, why don't you? I carried him half dead into the garden. He's coming too now. He'll need a friendly hand. Dorothy's letter, a clumsy forgery. But I was sure my best ally would be your bad conscience. The pistol shot, the poison drops, the electric shock, all theatrical devices I directed. Now take out your pen, friend, and don't leave out any zeros. You'll get the tape back when I've cashed the check. It's not true, zeros don't count. You don't mind if I take this, do you? Just have a souvenir to remember poor Mama. Bye. All done? Can we go? All done, darling. Ah, bury that housekeeper of yours. A corpse is like a guest. They stink after three days. We can afford them all. Uh, step on it. The world is ours and we mustn't keep it waiting. Whee! Don't try to get a place! 